In previous session, you studied galvanic cell, that is holtaic cell. It consists of two half cells. Okay. Uh, remember, always write the, that is, this first half cell it is an anode with a negative polarity on which oxidation takes place. Write this first, that is, on the left hand side. And then write the cathode with the positive polarity on which reduction takes place, that is, on the right hand side. Okay. Next. Now, see here, this half cell in which oxidation half reaction and in this half cell reduction half reaction takes place. Okay. Next. Now, let us see what is electrode potential. See here, the electrode it is an electrolytic solution. Now, at the surface of this electrode, here electrode half reaction takes place. Okay. Now, due to that electrode half reaction, here the potential difference developed. And that is called as electrode potential. Okay. Similarly here, the electrode, electrolytic solution it is in contact with this. At the surface of this electrode, this electrode half reaction takes place. Due to that reaction, here potential difference is developed that is called as electrode potential. Okay. Now, here what happens? In this half cell, oxidation half reaction takes place. Therefore, here due to that oxidation half reaction, here potential difference developed is called as oxidation potential. Okay. See here, this is the potential, oxidation potential developed at anode. Therefore, it is an. Okay. Now, at this, in this half cell, that is at this electrode, here reduction half reaction takes place. Due to that reduction half reaction, here potential difference developed that is called as reduction potential. That is here reduction potential. It is developed at cathode. Okay. Now, what is the cell potential? Overall cell potential is sum of this oxidation potential plus this reduction potential. That is sum of this and this gives the overall cell potential that is a cell potential. Okay. Now, this cell potential is also called as EMF of the cell. Electromotive force of the cell. Now, what is meant by this? That is, actually, cell potential is the force. It is the force that pushes the electrons away from the anode and pulls towards the cathode and that are consumed here. Therefore, it is an electromotive force of the cell that is cell potential. Okay. Now, huh? next, this electrode potential or the cell potential measured in holes. Now this electrode potential and cell potential depends on, here it is depends on, depends on the concentration of this solution. Here we will mention this point here, concentration of solution. Okay, depends on this. Next, depends on the nature of the electrode. That is if suppose, if this electrode is of a gas electrode. Then depends on its pressure, pressure of gas. And temperature. Okay. And the temperature. Okay. Remember this part. This cell potential and electrode potential depends on the these factors. Okay. 
Now, you know, the number of galvanic cells are there. You can construct so many galvanic cells by using different electrodes. Okay. And thus, cell potentials are there. For comparison, it is necessary to set some standard conditions. Okay. Therefore, now let us see which are the standard conditions. Okay. See here. Standard condition. Here we require this solution on which the potential is dependent. Take that solution of a one molar. That is concentration of a solution. Concentration of solution standard is 1 molar. Okay. This is about the solution. Then about electrode. Now these electrodes may be solid, liquid or gaseous electrode. If these are in a solid or liquid form, solid electrode or liquid electrode, then this must be in a pure form. Okay. If this electrode is of a gaseous electrode, for example, hydrogen gas electrode is a gaseous electrode, then the pressure is set at a standard pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure. Okay. Now, it's about the electrode. If it is a solid and liquid, then it is in a pure form. If it is in a gaseous state, then it pressure maintained at 1 atmospheric pressure. Now, about temperature. Temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, that is 298 Kelvin. Okay, these are the standard condition. Okay, now question may be asked like this, what are the standard conditions? Okay, now next one. Now suppose if you keep this standard condition and then measure the potential and from that find out the cell potential, then that is called as a standard potential. Okay, see here. Now here oxidation potential, standard conditions are there. Then it is a standard oxidation potential at anode. Here standard conditions are there called as a standard reduction potential which is at a cathode. Okay. This symbol for standard. Ultimately, we will get the cell potential which is standard cell potential. Okay. That is at what conditions the cell potential become standard cell potential. Okay, these are the points. Now, consider one electrode. For example, zinc electrode. Zinc metal is in contact with zinc plus 2 ion. Okay, you studied that part in Daniel cell. Okay, now its standard oxidation potential is equal to plus 0.763 hold. Okay. Actually, it is determined with respect to standard hydrogen electrode. I will explain this part in the next sessions. Okay. How part me? Tumala, next session madhe sante. Okay. Now, its standard reduction potential will be minus 0.763 hold. It means that, see here, Standard oxidation potential and standard reduction potential of an electrode are equal in magnitude but with the opposite sign. Okay, that is, see here, standard oxidation potential is equal to its minus standard reduction potential here. Negative. Okay, now substitute this one here. That is, its oxidation, standard oxidation potential is 
minus its standard reduction potential of anode. Remaining part same. Okay. Cathode. Okay. Now we are rearranging the equation. This minus will be later on. Here each hero reduction that is standard reduction potential of cathode minus standard reduction potential of anode okay is equal to e0 cell standard cell potential okay actually according to iupsc conventions the standard potential of an electrode is taken as a standard reduction potential okay it is standard reduction potential is its standard potential now here after we are using the word standard potential for standard reduction potential okay exam madhe tumhala je kai standard potential asa dila asel that is its standard reduction potential asta te ita manna nahi ate ki it is a standard reduction potential okay that is here it is a standard potential therefore not necessary to write now the word reduction therefore it is omitted therefore standard potential at cathode standard potential manje tacha kay asnar ate standard reduction potential asnar ahe barobar that is this is very important use this one and you know one more thing the reduction potential that is the standard potential standard reduction potential that is the standard potential jacha jast asto to cathode karto apan barobar mhanje cathode cha kay asnar ahe jast asnar ahe reduction potential okay now here this standard cell potential that is emf of the cell that is cell voltage is the difference of two electrode potentials standard potentials okay now we will see the numerical based on this part first problem construct the cell from this nickel and copper half cell and calculate the standard potential of the cell if standard potential of nickel and standard potential of copper given okay now first construct the cell now you know that the electrode with the higher standard potential is cathode now observe these two values this higher one therefore it is cathode therefore it is anode okay now formulation of the cell right first anode half cell that is this one nickel okay in that the metallic part the extreme left okay then nickel plus 2 ion standard potential given that is it is a 1 molar then salt bridge double vertical line then now cathode that is copper electrode with copper plus 2 ion 1 molar and then right metallic copper in the extreme right okay the about the formulation or short notation construction of the cell okay next now the next part is find out the standard potential of the cell the formula is this one standard potential of cathode minus standard potential of anode okay now here cathode is copper therefore write the formula for this numerical is for nickel okay now substitute the values here point 337 minus minus point 
two five seven. Okay. Therefore, point three three seven plus this point two five seven, which gives four nine five point zero. This one. That is. Standard potential of cell is this one. Not carry sir. We have to write all these steps for the theory exam. Now suppose the same question is asked. That is calculate the cell potential as a MCQ. Then not necessary to write all these things. Take first find out the higher one which is cathode. That minus this one. Okay now minus minus plus. Not necessary to write the formula states etc. Okay. Now consider next one. The standard potential of the following cell is this one. Okay. That is this is given. This is cell. Now this is anode. This is cathode. Okay. A standard potential of copper is this one. What is the standard potential of HE electrode? That is we want to find out the standard potential of Hg. Okay. Write first formula. Then cathode is here. On the right side. This is Hg. Then anode. Okay. Substitute the values. This here. This here. And then find out the standard potential of silver electrode. फक्त मिस्टेक कुठे होऊ शकतात बघा इथे सबट्रॅक्शन करायचं का ऍडिशन करायचं म्हणजे साईन बघायचं आहे नीट बरोबर नेक्स्ट वन राईट द सेल रिएक्शन अँड कॅल्क्युलेट स्टँडर्ड ईएमएफ ऑफ द सेल फॉर दिस सेल गिवन स्टँडर्ड पोटेंशियल ऑफ कॅडमियम अँड सिल्वर ओके आधी काय करा न्यूमेरिकल लिहून घ्या आणि तुम्ही सॉल्व्ह करा आधी सेल रिएक्शन लिहा सेल पोटेंशियल स्टँडर्ड सेल पोटेन्शियल डिटर्मिन करणं एकदम सोपं आहे कोण कॅथोड आहे हाय दिस मायनस मायनस दिस वन ओके दिस व्हॅल्यू ओके ते इझी आहे ओके फर्स्ट कॅल्क्युलेट दॅट आणि मग चेक करा इकडे ओके ना सी हिअर फर्स्ट दिस इज अनोड देअर फॉर ऑक्सिडेशन दॅट इज लॉस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन राईट हँड साईडला इलेक्ट्रॉन हिअर टू प्लस देअर फोर टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर लूज चार्ज बॅलन्स आहे इकडे झिरो आहे इकडे झिरो ओके नेक्स्ट ना कॅथोड इज सिल्वर गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन प्लस वन आहे देअर फोर गेन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू सॉलिड ऍटम ओके ऍटम मिळालं रिडक्शन हाफ रिएक्शन ऍट कॅथोड ओके ना ओव्हरऑल सेल रिएक्शन या दोघांची सम करायची आहे त्याच्या आधी इलेक्ट्रॉन शुड बी बॅलन्स Here two electron, therefore this equation is multiplied by 2. Therefore, write first this equation, then it is multiplied by 2. Write this, then these are cancelled out. No electron in the net cell reaction, that is overall cell reaction. H is sum kele, ikad se ikadali le, ikad se ikadali. Okay? Next. Now, here, standard EMF of the cell, standard cell potential, formula. Now, then write which one is cathode and which one is anode. In theory, exam has stapler marks as not at. There are the more, a general formula lila nantar, hecha sati liha hecha formula. Then substitute the values and then find out the answer. Okay? Now, suppose, If you want to determine only overall cell reaction from this, you can write. Okay, it is an anode that is, it is converted into CD2, CD2 plus. Okay, 2 electron, therefore it is multiplied by 2. Therefore, 2 Hg plus 2, 2 Hg. Okay. Now, homework, write the cell reactions and calculate the standard cell potential. for this cell. Answer given. Okay?